Slides Translator add-on. You and your students can use these steps to set up Slides Translator for the first time. After you complete these steps, it'll work on old and new presentations automatically. First, you'll open a new Google Slides file. Then you'll go to Extensions, Slides Translator, and Translate. Click OK, then go through the prompts to sign in with Google and allow permissions. If you get a message about a blocked script, just close the window. Now, you'll go to Extensions, Slides Translator, Translate, and the side menu will appear. Click anywhere on the purple background. If it says you only have 10 translations, simply refresh the page. Now, when you go to Translate, you'll be on the unlimited version moving forward. We're gonna start with the Translate options. So in the Slides Translator, you can choose Translate and it'll bring up this side menu. You'll start off by picking the language you want to translate your slides to. You'll click here. You can even type the first letter of the language and it'll jump to that part. However, the most popular languages are gonna be up here. So we have Translate and Translate All Slides. This first button will translate just one thing. So if I select one text box like this, I can tell it's selected because it has a blue outline around it. I can click Translate, and it'll only translate that one text box. If I want to translate all slides, I would click the next option, and you'll see that it'll translate every single text box on all my slides. So just like this. But this isn't translated yet, because we'll get to that in a minute. This next option is asking me to translate images. We have two ways we can translate an image. So the first one is I can select the image and choose the slider. And when I click on translate, it'll actually make a overlay with the translations. So now this is a text box and it's on top of my original image like this. This could be useful if I would prefer to have just a label in front of the picture here. And I can even type something else on top of this too. But if I want the original image to be translated, I would select it. I would go down here to translate image to image. Choose translate. I've already selected my image here. So now I have the translated version and the original like this. So that's what they look like side by side. One that I skipped over is DeepL. DeepL is deep language. And this will actually help to make your translations more accurate. So I would have this turned on pretty much all the time. Another option is make a copy. So if I want to keep this slideshow English, but I wanted to generate a copy in another language, I should turn this option on. Another key is that I have to double check that the language I want is selected. I'm going to now click Translate All Slides. So now I can click this button to go to the Google Slides homepage. And you'll see right here is the name of my original slideshow, and then UK is Ukrainian. Now I have my copy in Ukrainian, and it did not change the original English version. Now let's go to Extensions, Slides Translator, and Voice Type. I'm going to speak into the microphone, and this will type out everything I say. 
So I'll make sure I have this text box selected because that's where I want my words to go. My favorite subject is art. Great. So now I have my words here. Of course, I can improve the capitalization and punctuation. And then just like you saw before, if I wanted this translated, I would go back here and translate just this text box. Keep this text box selected. We can go to extensions, slides translator, and read. This will read the sentence out loud to me when I click this button. My favorite subject is art. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video.